Ayo, one hand job. On location is a uh, Studios Ballarat Golf Hunt. Very rough gold. Back in the hole. Being property of it all, is it? Right. Round three. Try a bit over here. Got him now. Oh yeah, I can see him. I see it in my hand. Put it in the scoop. bit. First clean piece I've taken from here. Good. A little bit. Okay, I ended up with three bits. One clean one and two very rough pieces in stone. I'll clean up all right in the acid. The house is good. Same spot to the Ballarat find. So there's still a few more bits here. Not too many targets at the moment. A few little tiny weeny pallets. Obviously the 21 couldn't pick up. 
six has managed to find them. I thought this might have been another one. Uh, I can just see it down here. Just a weedy piece. I just dropped it. Let's see if we can get it, recover it. Not very tiny. It's going to be easy. Paintbrush. Brush it onto the coil. Onto the scoop. It'll probably just be another one. Drop it again. Don't know anything. This one lucky. Still got it. It's only gonna be small. Whatever it is. It's in my hand. Hey, very small. Very, very small. <clears throat> I don't know if you can actually see that bit. It's only tiny. the coil. There's a speck there. Yeah, it's only tiny. Oh well. Trying to find it's going to be a problem. I'm going to lose it in the grass pretty easy. I think it's sitting on this ledge here. Rather than knock it down into all the grass, so we'll get it up. I reckon it's only going to be small. Now not to lose it.
what I found it. No easy task. I see somebody else has had a little bit of a scratch here in my old patch area. Not that old either. Well, I got it. I drop it. And only a little bit. Tiny piece. Another weenie piece. Look how tiny that one is. What I like about these little hills here is that they're only half washed down. So they started to wash them, but then left them because obviously on the other hill, where they really heavily washed it, it was a lot more profitable. And of course there's lots of little pieces still left here. It's handy for us little 6,000 and 2,300 users. I've been here with a 23 before the 6 come out and still got bits out of it. And uh, still getting even smaller bits now, a deeper than uh, the 23. So there's still more here. I'll tell you what I would like to point out is, is you see so many people knocking down diggings to get the little bits of gold and everything else out of them. What they've dug up with their monsters and that. But you have these water races that run around the hill here. Like that. The reef cuts across here. The reef cuts right through here. That's by the 1880 map, geo map. And you have another water race up here. Runs around the hill. And what I always like to do is, wherever these water races were, collecting the water that comes down off the hill to take to their dams to feed all their puddlers and everything. Occasionally the water race walls break away and of course see so what happens then you end up with a massive bit of erosion but at the same time in the early days when they used to break away they used to lose a lot of the material and the water that was in those water races would flow down the embankments and many of times when this is quite heavily washed here but some like the one where I am now is very lightly washed there's bits of gold that came out of the channels obviously with the water and that's why it's spilled down the side of the hill. Now, just think for a moment. If these water races, and you get some of them, make it multiple, multiple races around the hill. And it's all washing down the hill, and they're collecting the water, and it's all flowing into these water races. Just think how much alluvial gold is in these water races. In the bottom of them, underneath all that mulch. All the tiny little weeny pieces that are there. That have to be heaps. If someone spent a bit of time digging some of these popular little areas where it's renowned for a lot of gold coming off the hill, especially in surface areas, you can't tell me there's not any gold in any of those channels. That would have to be. So, this is another example here. Water brace has been spilt here and just here as well. And I've taken pieces down through here as well a long, long time ago. Uh, another one over there, taking pieces as well, so that's why I'm working here. But um, yeah, this has only been semi washed. But some of the little pieces would also come out of this water race when it would have broke its bank. And of course, they would have had rocks to try and build it up. So keep that in mind when you're in a populated area where you know there's a lot of golds come off the hill and you've got water races going around the hill. Just think what's inside those water races because I reckon there'd be a fair bit of alluvial gold still in them on those hills that need washing till the next one oh, weigh up my finds <coughs> this is um, the Ballarat gold area find bit, got bits of quartz in it but... a nice bit of gold there too um... More rough bits. One little shiny. Another little rough bit. And then these little buggers here were from um, Narina, little Bendigo, but alright. They're tiny. Especially these two here. Real tiny. Very little bits. 1.9 grams. Too bad. <laughs>